Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy and Slarmstrong back again, and we have a huge video today. Tons of new content releasing in the show. Probably the biggest single content drop we've had over a single day in MLB The Show 20 thus far. First off, uh, let's take a look at the new content schedule. Obviously, today we have the 99 overall six series. Jackie is out. We're going to be taking a look at his program 100%. We have the new Ducks on the Pond Pack, the new Father's Day program pack. Going to be looking at all of those reward pass, all those rewards, all that content there. And we're going to be discussing how you can capitalize on the new content out today in order to make subs. There's going to be a ton of opportunities to make subs today with all this new content. And I want to make sure you're prepared for that. We're going to dive into that for sure. As we keep going through the schedule, though, we have on the 23rd, the new Battle Royale Rewards and the Moonshot Southpaw event. And then, of course, next week, the 4th or the 5th, ending program tons of new content today let's dive into what we got so the first thing here in the pack shop you do have your free jackie robinson the jackie robinson foundation bat skin really cool thing that they've added into the game everyone's going to get a free bat skin and by coming in here getting this bat skin and collecting it we'll go ahead and get that pack there zero subs completely free by collecting that bat skin as well you will get five additional program points for this inning so be sure you definitely go through and also collect it within your inning program to get those five extra points in addition to that we have the ducks on the pond pack we have the new cards here we have the ernie banks shortstop might be the best shortstop in the game right now he looks absolutely nutty in addition to that we are rocking with the aroldis chapman honestly this may be the best reliever we have all year i'm you know i there's there's some good cards that are going to come this is going to be one of the best relievers we see all year long. Maxed out per nines, decent control, the outliers, the, the, the pitches. He has everything you need in Chapman. And then finally, of course, as we saw earlier this week, the Joe Adele card is also in this selection. I definitely think Chapman is the one you want of the three, followed by Ernie Banks and then this Joe Adele card. Not that Adele's bad, but there's a lot of options in the outfield. A lot of good cards out there. Um, they're all pretty insane cards as we can see 190k for Adele right now the market is really high on these already I am going to go ahead and buy two of these but if you're watching this on YouTube you're going to get blue balled a little bit if you want to see me open these packs be sure to head in the description below live on Twitch we will be here in just about an hour if you're watching this video we're probably live right now be sure to come by we'll be opening the packs live on stream so you're gonna want to come by and check it out there so heading on over here into the player programs we have of course the jackie robinson program has gone on to stage four now if you have not completed stage one two and three of these programs you will not be able to come in here to stage four of the program so you're gonna need to come through and you're gonna need to grind all this out get your gold jackie get the 88 jackie get the the 94 jackie and then you can come on here to the final one and as we can see incredible rewards 3,000 subs five packs 3500 subs and 5k xp 10 packs 4200 subs 5k xp and the matt kemp headliner pack five ball and bundle pack oh my goodness it's gonna be it's insane amount of packs and then of course we have the six series jackie robinson here take a look at his stats real quick pretty insane card he looks really solid he's got the incredible contact he's got passable power it's not insane it's not the you know it's not perfect power but it's enough power to get the job done and be a pretty decent player i'm pretty excited for this jackie i think we'll definitely be utilizing him in our lineup now one thing i do want to talk about going in here and looking at our first little market tip we're going to go into a bit more detail here but as you can see, especially with this last one here, a five ball and bundle pack. Now, people are going to be coming through here and completing this Jackie Robinson program. A lot of people are already through stage uh, three. They're here on to stage four. They're going to be completing it relatively quickly. And what that is going to do is influx a ton of golds into the market. If everyone is getting five free ball and packs, that means at minimum, everyone is getting five free golds. If everyone's getting five free golds, they're going to go through and sell them on the market. Their prices for those cards are going to absolutely tank. They are already tanking right now as we speak. So 
but you're going to be able to pick up golds for a very very high discount turn around sell them in a week maybe two weeks three weeks when ta3 comes out and you're going to be doing really well but we will take a look at the market itself here in just a moment i want to take a look at the missions real quick here for stage four obviously we have the moments voucher uh th that's repeatable so you're going to get some from there it's with all-star jackie robinson so the 96 one it's with all-star jackie robinson there and of course we have the new event coming out so we'll be able to do those there extra base hits with jackie as well there's 20 points right there and you'll be able to utilize and get that done in the southpaw event coming next week or you can go into rank seasons as well um stolen bases with dodgers is going to get you five extra bases with left fielders are going to get you five and runs with second baseman is going to get you another five defeating the dodgers on all-star higher will give you five and then exchanging dodgers first baseman second baseman third base and left field the dodgers and those positions across the entire league for 42,000 exchange points that is going to get you another 10. so if we're needing 50 total you can come in here in 10 15 20 25 30 um and then hopefully you can get another 20 from the vouchers if not you come on here knock out one of these in the event no problem and you get that done relatively quickly and you get yourself the six series jackie robinson plus all these packs along the way absolutely insane rewards now let's take a look at the new father's day program so coming in here the father's day program just one stage on this program we're gonna have all of these moments um, that are gonna unlock those there and as you complete these moments uh that's all there is to it you complete these moments 10 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 complete these moments you're gonna lock yourself two packs a ball and pack another three another headliner the Kevin Biggio player of the month card from September of 2019 um, covering up the contact 94 79 79 66 really good power numbers um, or decent hitting numbers I should say but he's not an insane card but again it's another one for free then you're getting the ball and pack and of course all that is leading to your Ken Griffey senior prime card with more stubs and packs along the way we'll take a look at Ken Griffey senior here he is lacking in the power department 60 power 48 power but he's got good contact he's got decent speed he's an okay fielder again it's a completely free card at worst case scenario it's getting you another prime card that you can add to your collections when those collections expand at some point in the year and give you more rewards or if you don't have any prime cards yet you can get your Ken Griffey senior card lock in your prime card in your collection and you'll be good to go so along with the father's day program we do have the father's day conquest map and there is no doubt going to be some hidden rewards on here and some really really good hidden rewards so that is where i want to get into talking about the market here now and how you can capitalize and take advantage as we've already seen there are two ball impacts in the father's day program which is going to be quick and easy to knock out there's a the five ball impact bundle in the jackie robinson program and there's probably some more hidden packs on this map that are going to affect the market so again what is that going to do to the market if everyone is getting several multitudes of ball and bundles or ball and packs i should say and getting those guaranteed golds and to a lesser degree the diamonds but the guaranteed golds you are gonna have a strong massive influx of golds into the market so what is that going to do at that point well gold prices are going to crash if you increase the supply significantly the demand's still going to be the same you're going to see those prices crash especially as people pull those packs and without even going and listing them on the market they're just going to fulfill the quickest sell order they see there and the market's already crashing but let's go ahead and take a quick look at the market and look at some cards that i'm going to be looking at as they continue to crash throughout the day so as we're sitting here here you can see there are some insane margins going on right now ken giles 2200 by now 1500 sell now how does something like that happen again it comes from people buying these cards or pulling these cards out of packs i should say and they're just going to fulfill the sell now order i just got a free five ball in as a habit packs i pull a ken giles out of one of them i just fulfill the sell order you as a no money spent player or someone who cares about their subs should absolutely not do that don't fulfill your sell order do your do create you know you want to create the buy now option have it be the highest price and so you can capitalize on more subs there but there are some insane margins right now just sitting here looking at it 2300 and 1690 2300 and 1700 so 
there's a two edged sword to this one you can come on here and flip right now and make some insane profits i mean we're looking several hundred subs per flip here right but on the second end as well you want to be looking at the price of these cards and how they react over the day the content has just been out for seven minutes so people haven't gotten on and started pulling a lot of ball packs yet however when that happens you're going to see these cards drastically drop let's take a look at jd martinez for example he's a guy that i like to look at i like to look at these 83 plus overall golds because they have inherently more value more desire they're needed for collections to a higher degree they're a little bit more rare to pull and if someone's just starting out they may come on and pick up some of these increasing the value and you can see these are all higher value but let's take a look at a guy like jd martinez here what you want to do to make sure you understand and you're getting a good price we're going to look at the market i'm not going to trust these buy now and sell now prices right here but i'm going to tab over here using r1 to the marketplace and i'm going to sit here and i'm going to look at it and i'm going to see okay on 619 he was around a 2300 buy now and around a, a, a 2000 sell now so his price right now is about what his normal price has been I can go back and look historically at one point he got up all the way to 3k by now but that's pretty high for him usually around that 2 to 2300 by now price is a good price for him so here in a couple hours if I come back and look at JD Martinez and all of a sudden he's selling for 1500 subs or 14 13 1750 whatever if he's selling for very minimal amount of stubs what am I going to do? I'm going to pick up as many as possible. I got 109K right now. I got a couple other things to liquidate. Give me some more stubs. But essentially, that's what we're going to do card by card. You know, their prices isn't changing yet, but it will be in the near future. Not to mention that there's also just insane margins. Margins today are going to be absolutely all over the place. Incredibly insane margins. It always happens when the market's moving quicker. The margins expand. You can see, let's see, you know, if we do some quick math, 2,400, you're making about five to 600 stubs on this Zach green key. If you flip them right now, my math's probably really bad, but I think it's five to 600 subs on this flip right here. You do that, extrapolate it out. You get a lot of subs, not to mention if you're doing some investments here and there as well. Another guy, let's take a look at here at DJ LeMayhew. Um, as you can see, his price has been coming down after peaking from the player of the month program. His price has been coming down about in line where, where it has been at his lowest. He was around a 16, 1700 sell now and a 2100 buy now again he's a little bit higher than that right now but if he gets down into those 1400 ranges i'm gonna come in and pick him up and you can honestly do this for any card <clears throat> i really like looking at golds because they hold their value really well and they're needed a lot for exchanges we have team affinity three at some point in the future we don't know necessarily when but i'm thinking team affinity three is gonna be here before we know it in the near future um and these cards are going to shoot up in price especially if they're needed for a very in-demand card you know if you're picking up a bunch of these cards at extremely cheap team infinity three comes around you saw them at triple quadruple the price you're just printing stubs it's like taking candy from a baby another thing i would want to look at here is some of these as we get a little bit lower some of these guys closing in a little bit closer to quick sell you know again insane margins but a guy like donaldson if he gets down to quick sell these 82 pluses if they get down to a thousand subs each i like to pick those up and again if you pick them up at a thousand subs each you have no risk as an investor if you pick them up for a thousand subs each and let's say you spend 100k and you get 100 kenley jansons at a thousand subs and let's say for the rest of the entirety of assembly show uh 20 lifespan he never increases in price well you go through you quick sell them and you lose zero stubs you can't lose anything you have all the upside none of the downside it's a great play there and you know again you can continue to do this with cards outside of golds as well you can look at silvers you know it's all about understanding the market if we come in here uh and we look at a guy like hunter renfro 578 right now that's about his normal price range if all of a sudden he's down to 300 stubs later today i can come in pick him up re rinse and repeat and of course same can be said for diamonds as well you know a guy like springer um that's about his normal price but if people some of these people like chapman or flaherty start to drop kershaw maybe if you get some of him at 5,000 subs a piece again we're looking at right at that quick sell value you can't really lose anything at the end of the day if you're picking these up for 5,000. So you can come in and look at these as well. The last thing I would look at, we know that that Matt Kemp 
headliner pack is featured in the Jackie Robinson program. There's probably going to be some more headliners packs, at least one in the Father's Day Conquest map. So whoever the headliner of that headliner pack is usually will drop in price as, of course, if you influx thousands and tens of thousands of a singular headliner pack into the market, then that one headliner player card is going to be pulled more and their price is then, of course, going to drop. So that's kind of what we're looking at there. You want to take a look at those things. So again, my market advice today is as these cards start to crash more throughout the day, we can see Ken Giles has lost like 300 subs. These are going down right here as we speak. I think these have dropped about 200 subs across the board right here, right now as we speak. So I'd be going through, picking up these as they get low, and then you can flip around, sell them in a couple of days, make a ton of stubs, or you can hold on to them for Team Infinity 3, whether you want to use them for exchanges, if you're trying to get those done cheaply, or if you're wanting to turn around and flip them then. Um, for me, it's a bit too long to hold on to a card, so I'll be selling these before then. But of course, you know, there's a lot of personal preference that goes on there. So that does do it today. An absolutely insane amount of content released today in the movie show. I think outside of an ending program or the Team Infinity Stage 2 drop, this is the single biggest content and drop we've probably had uh in mlb the show 20 maybe even any any mlb the show game multiple player programs conquest maps moments packs player cards free diamonds free packs free subs xp so many rewards today you definitely want to come on and take advantage of it both in terms of acquiring the rewards that are being handed out but then on the second end Taking advantage, getting on the market, playing with the market some. This is a great day if, you, if, if you're still uncertain about flipping, if you're still new to flipping. This is a great day to get on and flip as the margins are insane. And it's a great day to be investing in some cards as these prices will increase after they continue to drop today here as we have a huge market crash coming from the duck packs, the conquest maps, and the player programs that we have in the game coming out today. I will do it for today's episode, though. A lot of content, a lot to go over here in a very short time span. Um, I appreciate all of you who have stuck it out this long and watched so far. Again, we will be streaming all of our content adventures live on Twitch. Link down in the description below. Be sure to come by, swing by, check us out. If you're watching this video the day it releases, and we're probably live on Twitch right now, grinding out some of the content, ripping some packs, playing the market live as well. So if you're watching this video, the prices are probably different from when I'm recording it. You're like, eh, I'm not sure if this is really good or not. Definitely be sure to hit me up on Twitch. We're always talking about the market, going over the market. We have a lot of people within our community that are really experts at the market and really understand how it works, how it flows, and we'll be able to help everybody out to make stubs today. If you enjoyed this video though, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're closing in on 5,000 subscribers. Of course, at 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna be doing a 12 hour straight flipping challenge. I'll be interested to see how many stubs we can do that. We're just about 500 subscribers away. So definitely be sure to subscribe and let me know down in the comment section below, what do you think of the content today? A ton of content today, along with the patch yesterday, dude. It will be the show is making some huge moves and strides forward in my opinion. But let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the patch yesterday and all the new content today? I'm interested to hear all of your thoughts and opinions there. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later.